Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Tarot Monthly Horoscope for the month of September 2018 and this is for you coming from Taurus. So let me shuffle my Kabbalistic tarot cards. I like to use Kabbalistic tarot cards because they give zodiac signs and planetary signs. I feel I'm very much at home in them. Now this first card that I'm going to pull will have to do with your job and it's for the first 15 days of September for you coming from Taurus. It's a nasty card. It says there are so many issues here in your job area that you are just caught and therefore if you make a mistake in the first 15 days of September you will pay very dearly because your reputation will go very bad and also the other thing is that don't be rebellious, don't show your temper, don't be stubborn. Well, all these things, when your luck is bad and you try to do, it gets even worse. And so I'm going to pull the next card to talk about your business areas for the first 15 days, you coming from Taurus. And it says you are under tremendous pressure in the first 15 days. You are taking from your left pocket to put into your right pocket and then putting it into your shirt pocket and you're being an, extra, an acrobat basically in the area of finance and that's going to be terrible, it says. The bottom line is that money is going out, that past problems catching up and also trying to think big would be a big mistake in the first 15 days. The next card I'm going to pull is about general finances and let's see how that goes. Well, you are at sea basically, meaning that it's not good. It says that don't hope for too much, don't expose your reputation too much because you won't be able to fulfill it. So the first 15 days of September, for you in areas of job, business, finances, not good. I'm going to shuffle these cards again and I'm going to pull a card this time to talk about your romance in the first 15 days for you coming from Taurus. Let's see what happens. It's good and bad. The good part is that you can get a romance in the first 15 days. The bad part is you're going to be bitten which means that you're going to be hurt, which means that for some reason things are going to go very wrong and there's also regret. Well, what should you do? Go ahead and taste the romance. Taste it very gently and don't take risks and wait and see what happens. Don't give your heart away quite readily. If you find a new romance in the first 15 days, I would say very, be very careful because it comes loaded with some kind of bad intention or it may come with just issues that are not very pleasant so not doing very well in your romance area let me pull the next card to talk to you about your marriage area this is for the first 15 days of um, of september for you coming from taurus and the marriage area says that there needs a lot of harmony to be created because it's a card that's locked up which means that somehow solutions are not coming. So the card says that stay away from fights or arguments, stay away from being rebellious and most of all, don't let the past injuries come into the present. So don't bring up all the past things and I told you that and you told me this sort of story. Keep the present problems at the present stage and talk about them. One more card about general family areas. Well, somebody is going to control somebody, the card says. And uh, I hope it's not you because you're listening to me and you're realizing that the first 15 days in marriage or family or romance is not going well. So you don't want to be a commander. You want to be a follower. Let somebody else do the wrong thing. So be careful. Now, at this stage, I want to go to the area of lucky dates, D-A-T-E-S. I'll talk to you about your last 15 days a bit later. So I'm going to pull a card to see what your lucky dates are going to be for you coming from Taurus. Okay. All right. So I like this card very much for you. Finally, something good happening. And it says your lucky dates for September would be the 1st, the 10th, the 19th or the 28th. So bookmark these dates, whether to chase for the new romance, whether to carry on and improve the existing romance or the marriage area. 
whether to talk to your bosses about the job and find solutions or whether in business to try and um, rectify all the problems there. The next thing I'm going to talk to you is about your lucky ages. And let's see what the card says for you for the first 15 days of September and you coming from Taurus. The ages I'm going to choose for you are the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, the 28th, the 37th, 46th, 55th, 64. 73. So if you are the ages of, I'm sorry, I'm going to read this again. If you are the ages of 19 or 28 or 37 or 46 or 55 or 64 or 73, you're going to be one very lucky person. It's a kind of an example. So you are going to be extremely lucky in love or in marriage or in job or in business. You're going to override the problems. This is for the whole month of September. And now let me talk to you about your health area quickly for you coming from Taurus. It's a very complicated card with many problems. Firstly, it says blood circulation will be very bad. Secondly, it says accidents are very possible in the month of September. And thirdly, it talks about your head. So either an injury to the head is possible or headaches are possible or is it migraine or something about the head including the jaw and everything else is a problem. So look into these areas. Alright, now I'm going to talk to you about your last 15 days, last 15 days of September and I'm going to talk to you about your job firstly to see what's going to happen for you. It's a much much better card. Now it says if you're hunting for a new job, you're going to get something very good. Don't be too fussy. Grab it. There is also a message here from the planet Mercury that says don't commit yourself too quickly. Do some research. So in the last 15 days, some offer is coming to you for a job, but do some research. But I would say, should you go and get it? Go and get it because there are some signs on this planet that says that something is good for you, waiting for you. I'm going to pull the next card to talk about your business. And the good part of it is that new business ventures are very possible in the last 15 days for you coming from Taurus. The bad part is that what you are doing now is weakening. So perhaps go for, go for the new ventures because the, what you're doing now is getting very weak. There is a sign here, it's a sign of the moon basically controlling it. And so I would translate this as try to incorporate making changes in the last 15 days if the situation demands it. It will be worth your while. Don't be afraid of changes. So do it that way. Next card for general finances. Well, the card is called the Wheel of Fortune, but that doesn't mean you're going to get into the fortune. It just means that things are going to up, go up and go down and go up and go down. So fortunes are changing in these last 15 days very often. They are not stable. So the last thing you want is not to spend and welcome income and don't spend. I would translate it that way. So I'm not very impressed in your last 15 days about job, business and finances, but there's a lot of improvement at least compared to the first 15 days. Now I'm going to talk to you about areas of romance, marriage and family. And so let me pull the first card and let's talk of this kind of a romance for you in the last 15 days. Well, somebody you know from your past is coming into your life again. That's one scenario or somebody that you know from the past you had nothing to do with wants to be very interested in you. And the third scenario is that you are being found very attractive by somebody. So there is every chance to find a new romance one way or another and you be the chooser about it. So get active, start looking good in the last 15 days. Somebody is eyeing you very nicely. Let's talk of your marriage situation for the last 15 days. And this is a card that says the last 15 days, some situations are improving and 
this improvement is overlapping all the past problems. So I would say there is an improvement regarding your past 15 days or whatever. Your last 15 days of September are improving a lot. And I would also say at the same time that getting help from siblings, getting help from parents would be a good idea for support of any kind because it goes to the extended family area. So your marriage area is definitely mending and definitely can improve and definitely can attract help. So that's pretty good for you. Shall I pull one for the general family area? Let's see. Let me get extended family and other things. Well, this is a pretty good card actually. It says a new beginning can be seen in your last 15 days where the whole family is concerned. So it could be involving siblings, parents, your children, your partner and you. So there is definitely some improvement seen in many areas, in many facets of your romance or marriage in the, first, in, in, in the last 15 days. Well, that's what I have to tell you. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50.50 for a 90 minute Skype session and during this 90 minutes I'll talk to you about your next 7 or 8 years and that will be based on your date of birth, your time of birth, your palms and I'll face read you while I watch you on Skype as well. And I'll do something for you for your next 7 or 8 years to put you on guard whether to go for it or whether not to go for it and lie low. And I will talk to you about many areas, I'll give you your personal lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth and what says your palms. And I'll give you your lucky colors and your lucky directions and your lucky gemstones and plenty of all these lucky things. And so go to Facebook, go to Skype, contact me and for your next seven or eight years I'll get it right for you. If there's something wrong I will tell it to you so you can be prepared for it and you can correct it. It's all about early detection, life is. And so I wait for your contact and uh, I will come back to you as soon as possible. Remember, 90 minutes will cost you USD 50 with me. Thank you and goodbye.